Hey students, it's Miss Starkey. I hope this little message finds you well. I wanted just to take a moment and talk with you about the process of mindfulness. And mindfulness is you being able to control your body using your mind. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, it technically can be. Um, right now, especially in a time like this where time at home might feel great one minute and the next minute you need a break from your brother or um, you need a break from <laughs> whatever stresses that you might have at home because some of you have more than others. But you have some tools in your toolkit to help you when you're feeling stressed at home. And one of the great ways to do that is through the process of what I call meditation. Meditation means that we are trying to stop our brain from thinking. And that is a very hard task. In fact, our brain is always wanting to process information. I want you to think about a, um, a train. Train on the tracks, and what is the train always doing? It's always moving, right? Rarely do we see trains that have stopped. And of course, they do stop. They have to stop sometimes. Well, the same thing with your brain. Your brain is always trying to process information. It's always chugging along. It's always moving. Even when we're sleeping or dreaming, the process of meditation is literally stopping our brain from any thought whatsoever. It's a way for us to be still, to accept peace. And there are people that do this quite often. And it's been such a wonderful practice that lots of schools all across the United States are using meditation as a way to start their days at school. They find that kids perform academically better. They have a better climate. People are being able to problem solve just because they take a moment to stop and rest. And so if you were trying to begin this process, I would recommend that you literally try 60 seconds, eyes closed in a comfortable place, deep, regular breathing, and just be still, still for 60 seconds. Now, you can time yourself, have a parent time you, but just the quiet. Um, you may hear things while you're meditating, and the goal is during meditation is that you are not thinking about those things. You're literally just thinking, sitting still, and that's hard. But if we do that, then we can kind of set the tone that we are in a sense, uh, a presence of calm, a sense of calm to be able to tackle things that we need to tackle. So meditation is one tool. That's one tool that you can put in your toolkit. Another tool is the process of gratitude. Gratitude meaning that we find things to be thankful for. And some of you, that might be really hard right now. Others of you, you could name four things easily. Um, I would recommend as a part of your mindfulness practice, you can do it um, at the beginning of the, your day when you wake up or at the end of your day um, with your parent or writing in your journal, whatever works best for you and is okay with your parent, um, to find at least three things that you are literally writing down or telling someone else that you're thankful for. Three things. And maybe it was something that you saw something that you did with a parent, something that you experienced outside, something that you just consider that you're grateful for. Because if, especially during hard times, right, if we can find things that we find gratitude for, we realize how much we have, even at tough times. And it's actually a mindfulness practice. It can help us um, tackle any anxiety or fear we have, or even frustration we have if we remember what we have. So let's think. Two tools. We've talked about meditation, stopping the brain, stopping that train of thought for at least up to 60 seconds, or the process of gratitude where we are writing three things or verbalizing, saying to someone else, three things that we are grateful for at the beginning of our day or at the end of our day. So two simple tools that you can use. There are many different tools for mindfulness. Those are the two, two that I thought were the easiest to focus on, and it's something that I do in my life that helps me. Again, know that we care about you and miss you. And you know what? There are a lot of things that we can't control. 
but we still can control how we react to a problem. So choose today what you might use, whether it's meditation, up to 60 seconds is your goal, and you can keep working on that goal and maybe you hit 45 seconds, 60 seconds, a minute and a half, two minutes, or and or the process of gratitude. Easy things, easy tools that you can use as a mindfulness practice to help you navigate life. Sending you the love. Bye.